All right, everybody, quick recap of the 2024 St. Mary's Bass Festival out of St. Mary's, West Virginia. We had a pretty good tournament. I didn't get a chance to go practice, but Dad went out and practiced a little bit. Uh, there was there was some some locking issues that were concerning a lot of people, but we decided to risk it. So we put in Powhatan Point, and we were we're going to risk locking back to St. Mary's to weigh our fish. There was the big chamber was down, so they're breaking barges apart uh, to lock them through, and barges got priority. So we decided to risk it. We actually were going to lock through to Rayland and fish, which that there's nothing wrong with that lock system, but it just takes a lot of time, so you uh, you don't get as much time to fish. We get up there. And I call the lock master and they say there's a crane in the lock chamber so it's going to be an hour so we start fishing well by the time that hour was up I I looked at that I said and we had three keepers uh, he said we're gonna stay so we stayed and we smoked them uh, we had close to nine pounds by nine o'clock I remember that because nine nine and uh, since the lock system to St. Mary's was messed up, we, we knew that when we needed to be down, down there, we had to go. We were supposed to be down there at 145. Well, guy we fishing against had arranged us to lock through. The lock master called him and said, hey, be down here at noon or we're not locking you. So we get a call at 1120 and we had to go. But we already had our limit, good bag. So we went down there. Well, we get down there and we wait and we wait and we wait and we wait. It's 1.15 before we lock through. We kind of fished around down by the dam, but not really a lot. Well, we get through and we still got, I don't know, two, two hours to fish. So we fish around and I called one. Ended up with... Uh, 9.33 on day one we was in eighth place uh, uh, there's a picture at, in the video i'll show you anyway <clears throat> day two we couldn't go back to powhatan because you'd have to lock up and lock back and they were not wanting to lock us at all on day one so i'm sure they wouldn't do two days or two locks in a day so we decide to go to Belpre blind. I'm as blind as you can be in our home pool. I know that pool like the back of my hand, but I have not been out there, I don't think at all this year. But anyway, we go down there, we start fishing. We hit a couple spots, hit a spot that I haven't hit in years. And right off the bat, catch two and a half, three pounder. I don't know, it's in the picture. It's the biggest one. We caught that day and then right after that dad catches another one so two good fish right off the bat well we start screwing around fishing for smallmouth and uh is dead didn't get anything else so we run all the way down river and start catching largemouth catch one keeper and a couple shorts and we think at this point we're not going to get a limit we've got three so we're running back up river fish for some more smallmouth and we saw us grab a bar that we haven't hit in years and I said you want to hit that he said yeah and he pulled over pulled up and I said it only takes one cast to get a keeper first cast catch a good one pound and a half fish within five casts we had three more keepers in the boat of course one of them we thought would call out the largemouth but it, it it was longer but it was skinnier and uh but we ended up keeping the largemouth, but uh, almost called out another fish because that was six keepers. But yeah, uh, if it wouldn't have been for our instinct, we wouldn't have stopped on that gravel bar and we wouldn't have had a limit. 
So we ended up the day with a little over 16 pounds, 16.4 pounds maybe, and ninth place, $700, which is our best finish in the St. Mary's Bass Festival. So that's that's pretty exciting. Dad is pumped up, and I'm pretty pretty excited. So maybe next year the lock system won't be so messed up, and we'll we'll get to go back up where we're familiar with. All right. Thanks again for watching.